As the 4th of July quickly approaches, airports across the country are dealing with flight delays and cancellations. Our Rochelle Turner is at Bush Intercontinental Airport speaking to travelers. Rochelle. And Keith, it's been really busy here at Bush Intercontinental Airport. We've seen several flight delays and cancellations. We also spoke to some people whose they missed their flights because of traffic. Booked and busy. It's been smooth sailing so far. For some travelers, the luck is on their side this holiday weekend. But for others, it has run out. My flight was canceled and I was supposed to go to Las Vegas and see David Copperfield. Vanessa Ramos and her father's first class United flight was delayed for three hours and then it was canceled. So we're just trying to get a flight into Vegas so we can get to see some shows. As the 4th of July weekend approaches, thousands of flights have already been delayed or canceled due to severe weather and FAA staffing issues. So far, close to 300 flights have been delayed at Bush and 72 were canceled. Over at Hobby Airport, only 35 flights have been delayed with no cancellations. I'm here to meet my boss. Like we're, I'm here traveling for business. Her flight was delayed two hours. She was getting on the flight and I'm supposed to meet her here. We're sharing an Uber. I'm not waiting in here for two hours. And for travelers like Jennifer Tadlock, well, she's trying to be patient after missing her flight. I left work too late. I'm new to Houston and I missed my flight. <laughs> so the traffic light. It was it was a little hectic. It was it was a little hectic. I had an Uber. You know, he did the best he could. Ms. Tatlock probably had the best advice for travelers. Make sure you get to the airport at least two hours early and make sure you're also checking your flights for any updates or disruptions. Reporting live from Bush Airport, I'm Rochelle Turner, KPRC 2 News. Good advice, Rochelle. Thank you.